What's going on guys, I'm back with another video. We've seen several major celebrities appearing in photo shoots, where they symbolically pledge allegiance to the occult elite. Far from being subtle, the symbols are clear, unmistakable, and repeated throughout mass media. Machine Gun Kelly walks around with girlfriend Megan Fox, while wearing a symbolic shirt by the brand Local Authority. Named Devil's Dance the shirt depicts a couple of evil Mickey Mouses, a logo resembling a Masonic square and compass, and some inverted crosses. Cardi B posted this picture on Instagram, where she's dressed as the devil with massive horns on her head. The post was immediately flooded with comments about her selling her soul to the Illuminati. They are correct. In her next post, Cardi wrote, Stop with the Illuminati. It was just costumes for a TikTok video Alright, that's a great explanation. First, I'm pretty sure that most people were aware of the fact that those are costumes. Nobody was debating whether or not those were costumes. Second, posing as the devil on TikTok for millions of followers is exactly what Illuminati pawns do. This is Cardi B on the cover of L. She is fully being used to push the elite's agenda these days. Miley Cyrus also posed as a red devil on the cover of the photography book High Gloss. They're doing this one purpose. NBC News chose a rather symbolic pic in its article about the husband of Kamala Harris. One eye is hidden by a curtain. The elite behind the scenes. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. This article by the Wall Street Journal also uses a very symbolic pic. The one-eyed elite controls your technology. Top Photo Neox is a Spanish contest show for photographs and influencers, in this promo poster, the one eye sign sends off a specific message. Influencers are actively recruited and used by the elite. Speaking of elite-owned influencers, this is a recent pic of Kim Kardashian and Alison Stata promoting some kind of garbage. Of course, the one eye sign is an obligation. This article in Vogue Paris says, In this time of uncertainty, here's how you can ask things to the moon. The one-eye sign in the header image indicates that this is more elite-sponsored nonsense, designed to keep people away from the truth. I'm not an astrologer, but I'm pretty sure that the moon can't do anything about your credit card debt. This Time magazine cover is titled, The K-Pop Band That Conquered the World. The guy in the middle makes a devil horns hand sign. The guy on the far right also makes a more subtle one. I guess we know why BTS conquered the world. Still speaking of influencers, 17-year-old Charlie D'Amelio is TikTok's biggest star with over 124 million followers. Like most TikTokers, she became famous by posting videos of her dancing and doing faces. You better believe she's being recruited to do the one-eye sign, while selling garbage as well. This is the poster of a series appropriately titled Don't Look Deeper. If you look deeper, you'd realize that Quibi is a streaming service founded by an ex-Disney executive who raised over $1.75 billion, billion equals 1,000 times 1 million, to create this platform, and to recruit major stars such as Chrissy Teigen. In other words, it is yet another streaming platform owned by the occult elite. This is Game of Thrones star, Rose Leslie, in a symbolic photo shoot for 1883 magazine. But wait, maybe that's not an actual one-eye sign, maybe she's just posing for the camera. Let's look at other pictures from that photo shoot. A big fat unmistakable one-eye sign. Let's look at another picture from that elite-sponsored photo shoot. In this pic, Rose holds a butterfly while several hands hold other butterflies. This is pure monarch programming symbolism representing MK handlers and alter personas. 
Marcy Martin does the most generic one-eye sign in history on the cover of Essence. The fact that the cover talks about black creativity while showcasing a sign of submission to the occult elite and its oppressive agenda is disturbingly ironic. Spike Lee and David Byrne team up to make a lame-ass one-eye sign. Thanks, guys. Filipina singer and actress Nadine Luster is getting media attention in the West. Of course, she needs to do the one-eye sign. Another pic from the same photo shoot. That's what you need to do if you want to cross over. French actress Lisa Du makes a one-eye sign while promoting Louis Vuitton. Brazilian Bank says. New Bank is reinventing your financial life while showcasing a massive one-eye sign on its website. When massive financial corporations use the one-eye sign in their marketing campaign, you know that there's something unholy going on there. The new bank ad from 2019. This is all 100% deliberate. In an article about divorce, actress Helena Bonham poses with an eyeball inside her mouth. Other than tributing the all-important one-eye sign, the eyeball appears to be a reference to the movie The Neon Demon, which is 100% about the occult elite industry. In the movie, a model ingests the eyeball of a sacrificed colleague to gain the favors of the industry. This is the cover of Danish magazine Euroman. It features four of Denmark's most popular actors, and all of them are doing the one-eye sign. This is Sea and Vogue Australia. Blatant one-eye sign. This is the cover of Belgian magazine Goat Jevel, which mean good feeling. That big fat unmistakable yet unnecessary one-eye sign does not give me a good feeling. It reminds me of the fact that even local lifestyle magazines with a limited reach are forced to put this crap on display. On a global level, magazine empires such as Vogue have been spamming that one-eye crap all over the world for years. This is the cover of Vogue Turkey. This is a picture of Alessandra Michelle, Gucci's artistic director. It appeared in a magazine article stating that every he touches turns to gold. Did his eye turn to gold? Because that's what he's touching on this pic for no good reason. This is Kendrick Lamar and his protege Baby Keem in ID magazine. It was only a matter of time for Kendrick. Bella Thorne, the ex-Disney child star who turned to put posted this on social media. She's still a slave, even on her birthday. This is up-and-coming rapper, Note Marcado, doing the obligatory one-eye sign in XXL magazine. He is the son of famed producer Swizz Beats. So, the industry ties are definitely tied. Bavon Alawi is a famous actress and influencer in the Philippines. In this photo shoot for Preview magazine, she does the one-eye sign combined with butterflies, a reference to monarch programming, indicating that the industry has recruited her. For the last couple of years, Katy Perry has been stuck in this weird phase reserved to industry pawns characterized by bizarre behavior and humiliating events. The photo shoot promoting her new album Smile is 100% consistent with this theme. In this pic, the pie conveniently makes a one-eye sign, indicating that she is owned by the occult elite, and this is part of her deal as an industry slave. When one knows about the dark side of Hollywood, a trip down Macaulay Culkin's Instagram account becomes a rather upsetting experience. He has a podcast called Bunny Ears, so he wears bunny ears in nearly every picture on his account. The White Rabbit from Alice in Wonderland is one of the most important symbols, referring to MK Ultra. In this specific picture, Culkin is wearing bunny ears, and the background is replete with occult and satanic symbolism, including 666. He's trying to tell us something. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.